Should you create your own cleaning supply line? I know it's super tempting, right? I don't recommend that you do it all and here are the reasons why. I'm Angela Brown and this is Ask a House Cleaner. This is a show where you get to ask a house cleaning question and I get to help you find an answer. Now, if you have a question, you can go to askahousecleaner.com. Right there in the corner is a blue button. When you click on that, you can send your question to me here at the show. Somebody called in and they asked this question. Yes, hi. I am interested in creating my own product line within my cleaning business to sell and promote. All right, that was more of a statement than a question. And so I just want to jump in and add my two cents worth. And my, my question for you is what kind of a profit margin are you hoping to retrieve from creating your own chemical line that you're going to be selling to, I don't know, customers, other cleaners? What is the profit margin? What we do know is this. There are a lot of cleaning supplies already on the market, and there are degreasers and all-purpose sprays, and there are glass cleaners, there are acids, there are alkalines, there are all different kinds of cleaning supplies. Are you going to compete with all of them? Are you just going to create an all-purpose spray? Are you just going to create a glass cleaner? What are you going to create, and how are you going to compete? The reason I ask is this. At Savvy Cleaner, we use Otoban. Otoban is a product that has been around for 30 plus years. It's a fantastic product. Many of us became familiar with it during the pandemic because it is a disinfectant, but they also have a professional line that is like a bathroom series. They've got a, a floor cleaner. They've got a degreaser. They've got a bunch of different products that you can buy in gallon jars. The gallon can be diluted by like one ounce, two ounces, whatever, for a 32 ounce container. So with this one, we've got one ounce of the cleaning supply inside this container. This 32 ounce spray breaks down the cost after we've broken it down and diluted it is about 13 to 30 cents per 32 ounce spray. Very affordable. If you're selling cleaning chemicals, are you hoping to make 13 or 30 cents on a spray? And then my question for you is how are you going to package it? Because you can't sell cleaning supplies unless you have jars and jugs and spray bottles and all that stuff. You also need labels for that. Now, this is a label that Otoban provides on their website. And you can just print these off and then tape them to the jar that you're using so that it meets OSHA requirements. So you buy your own jar and then you print out the label that is available and then you put it on a container. So are you going to do the graphics and make your own labels? And are those labels up to OSHA standards? Now, the OSHA standards say that we have to specify on the label a couple of different things, the manufacturing information, the safety hazards, and what have you. You can, in fact, buy some labels, and these are labels that we use for other jugs that are not our Otoban line, right? We make sure that we mark down the name of the product, the safety data sheet information, any of the hazards that are required, and any of the personal protective equipment that is required when using that product. So you're responsible as the creator of the, the chemicals for doing that as well. One of the things that I want to mention is if you are a chemical manufacturer, you need a safety data sheet that is available to the public. The next thing is you need to make sure that you are properly insured as a cleaning chemical manufacturer. Because if you promise that, hey, this cleaning solution that I made up in my house is safe on these different surfaces, and somebody uses it on those surfaces, it damages them, you may be responsible, right? You made a claim you could not back up. Therefore, you may be responsible. So there are rules and regulations that come along with being a chemical manufacturer that if you're just doing this for kicks, I recommend that you not do it for kicks. If you're really serious about this and you're like, no, 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 I am a chemist. I went through school. I have my own laboratory. I have a way to test these products. I can compete with the big boys. I have lots of money that I can advertise and I can market against them. I'm totally going to do this. I've got another video up here that I want you to watch that will answer some of those questions and put you in touch with the right people or people that can white label existing cleaning chemicals that already exist so that you have your own product line and you can market it as your own. So I do want you to think about that it's not just a quick way to make extra money because the profit margins on a container after you've spent a dollar and a half for a container, the profit margin on a 30 cent bottle of solution, you're going to have to mark it up so high and then you have shipping. How are you going to ship this where it doesn't open and spill inside someone's package? And so how are you going to ship it? How are you going to get it to the distributors? How are you going to make sure that it ends up at the consumer? How are you going to do the marketing? What kind of social media are you going to have? You're going to have to hire a whole team of people in order to make that work. So do you want to do it? Ooh. 
If it was me, I would say don't even go down that road. Anyway, my two cents. All right, I hope that helps. If it does, give us a thumbs up. If you have questions or comments, those go in the notes below. And if you are really seriously interested in starting your own product line, don't miss this playlist because it's going to answer a lot of your questions. And it might talk you in or talk you out of it, but at least you won't be in the dark. All right, I hope that helps. Until we meet again, leave the world a cleaner place than when you found it.